Hello everyone, welcome to this video session on embedded systems. I am Sandeep Saxena. In today's video, we are going to learn the USB as a virtual COM port on this uh, STM32 board. Yeah, so this is the same microcontroller we used in our previous video where we did the uh, um, uh, blinking LED program from the scratch but today we are not gonna write a code from scratch we will generate the code using the STM32 CubeMX yes and here's my debugger which we'll connect in the same way so like I told earlier this is the very cheap and powerful microcontroller in the market it's like uh, it, it is having Cortex M3 cores it's a 32 bit microcontroller in some 125 rupees so it is very cheap and you will have a flavor of uh, STM32 so that's a, a big advantage and you are working on ARM in like uh, you are just spending on these two things like 400, 400 rupees and you are working on ARM so that's the main thing so let's work on the best processor in the world yes and yeah we will connect the debugger in the same way like uh, uh, yeah this is 3v3 swd swd clock and ground so same i have connected here and i'll connect the same way in the board side so let's go ahead on the cubemx side so I have just opened the STM32 CubeMX and I have clicked on the new project so that will create a new project and here we have to select our MCU so that is STM32 F103 C8 so this is my microcontroller which has 64 kilobytes of flash and 20 kilobytes of ram the maximum frequency it can operate to is 72 megahertz usb requires 48 megahertz so i'm clicking so we'll go to our cc and uh, we have to enable the external crystal the onboard crystal uh, 8 megahertz uh, which is the 8 megahertz crystal on board so okay i'll select this here and uh, then i have to enable the uh, serial wire debug and then i'll i have to enable this HSE here and uh, yeah so when I'll select the option as USB the clock configuration will get changed because USB works on uh, 48 megahertz so now I'll go to USB device and I'll select the virtual COM port the communication device class so now everything is enabled let's go to clock configuration which is showing the cross mark so this is the automatic uh, clock resolver from this software so if I if I click on yes then it will resolve the clock issue for every peripheral so yes you can see USB is getting uh, 48 megahertz and uh, yeah, my external crystal is selected and the clock is going via PLL to all the other peripherals and buses so that's all uh, so we'll generate the code okay so I have to give some name to this project so I'll give test USB and uh, yeah this is my folder where I create this project and I'll choose ID as uh, Keel Microvision 5 so yeah and I'm gonna click OK and it will generate the source code So 
so the uh, source code has been generated and it is asking me to open project so if I'll open it it will be opened in Keel uh, Microvision 5 so it's time to close the QMX and yeah this is my project which I have created as a test USB so this is the application user this is my main.c so as you can see in main.c there are uh, three calls four calls uh, first uh, which is the HAL uh, init which is the uh, uh, peripherals for the microcontroller like uh, flash interface, cystic etc and this one is the uh, clock configuration which we have uh, done in the QMX and this one is the GPIO so related to the uh, peripheral we have to provide clock to that uh, particular uh, those particular pins and this is the uh, USB device in it uh, call so this initializes the USB as virtual com port so if we'll run this program on the microcontroller uh, then a device will get detected in the device manager so let's go ahead I have uh, connected the debugger with the uh, this development board and the USB to, uh, to my computer so next uh, I'm gonna move to Keel and we'll compile the code and we'll flash the code so now I'm gonna compile the code so this is the option for rebuild there are three options so here you can do the incremental build and this one is for just uh, building one file the current file which is uh, opened in the editor and this actually rebuilds the project that means it cleans uh, the previous builds and then rebuilds the each and every file so it has been compiled successfully now i'm gonna flash the code so it is loading okay so let's go <coughs> to the device manager so yes i can see that uh, there is a usb serial device in the device manager so i'm gonna open this using teraterm which i have already opened over here and uh, now let's go to the debug mode So now I'm running the program and uh, so this file C, uh, USBD uh, CDCIF.C is the interface file for this uh, uh, particular driver. So as you can see this is the function as a, a CDC receive FS which receives one byte at a time. So I have kept a breakpoint over here and the program is running so if i'll type uh, anything in the serial port will be reflected here so i'm typing a so yeah it is coming here and uh, it is coming as so the value in the buff is uh, 0x61 which is the hex value of uh, uh, a So th there is another function a CDC transmit FS so this is responsible to print something on the serial console so we'll use that function in our while and we'll see how it prints so okay and it takes two arguments one is the string and uh, next is the 
size of this string okay so I'm gonna compile this again and we'll do the incremental build will not compile the complete project so it is just compiling main.c okay one error has okay we forgot to put the semicolon let's rebuild again okay now it is compiled with one warning now I'm gonna flash the project and we'll see on the serial terminal not printing anything we need to provide some delay to this to print it properly Say 500 millisecond delay. Compile. So as you can see it is printing hello KBL technologies each 500 millisecond. So this is the interface file uh, the USB CDCIF.C uh, which is responsible for interfacing with this serial port. So we'll in the further video uh, we'll use this file and we'll, we'll design a serial con console uh, and uh, we'll play with this driver. So guys thank you thank you for watching.